when you start learning to eat, cook from scratch, it gets a whole lot cheaper on your grocery bill. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm I'm starting to put together some of my go-tos. As I said, I have, my oldest is 18, um, and I pretty much was babysitting and, and helping with my little siblings when I was like 13 years old. So I have been cooking for a very long time, and I am from households of women that cooked everything from scratch. So I'm putting together some of those easy recipes that are easy to do a switch over. Um, I'm going to put together like instant oatmeal that you can buy, buy everything, put it in a, in a bit bulk container and just scoop it and put it in the bowl. Um, when my kids were little, they didn't even know what an instant pack was. They just knew to take their little scoop out and put it in their bowl. So like um, your instant oatmeal, we usually do the brown sugar flavor because it's easy for me to do a bulk on. I do that. I make um, hot chocolate recipe from scratch. We do, um, pancake recipe you know the, the basically what you would buy in the box um pancakes i make a just a big old batch of it and have it um there's a bunch of stuff that you can do and you can take an afternoon and even get the kids involved get them to count it out make it a math assignment you know how many you know how many cups do we need if we're making so many batches um that's how i got my kids in the kitchen is just doing that and then that way when you're ready to you know it'll be portioned out on your jars it's cheaper in your pocket because you're buying it all, you know, a bulk, but you also know what's in it. That's another reason that I really um, lean toward teaching and just doing this lifestyle because I am allergic to a lot about what's out there. Um, so for me, you know, it's one of those things I have to eat in a different lifestyle because I am like gluten free and stuff. Um, I can't, I know how to make the regular so, but um, you know it's just knowing all the process stuff that they're putting in the box stuff now just kind of eliminating it getting rid of all those extra food dyes and you know the extra you know just all the extra that you can't even pronounce what it is in the box how to basically take that box um one of the ones i like to say is my kids love mac and cheese and i have no problem with mac and cheese but what i do is i get mac um pasta noodles when they're on sale like this time of year when you're going to get you know holidays and stuff when you can get a box for like 50 cents to a dollar probably a dollar now um because i haven't bought them in a while but get a box of them and then i get a cheese pack that's Velveeta that i get for a dollar a piece and i'm making mac and cheese just like you would get for four or five dollars these days in a box i'm still doing it for about a dollar dollar fifty and so those are the kind of the things that um we do just to kind of one help the grocery budget because it's not getting any cheaper to go to the grocery store let me tell you um but it also tells you know what it is 